Welcome back. To Brodsleek Heroes! In the bottom right of Triton. It is TPGG XD's very own Phoenix. And in the top left, Raccoon Pizza. The most exciting pizza topping since pineapple. And what do we have? It's a forge. Because why wouldn't it be a forge? We've been here before, we'll be here again. Is it going to be a preemptive cannon rush, or is it actually going to be reactionary? As Phoenix is going to cannon rush. The drone will see the pylon. It will see the probe. The probe tries to hide. That's not really how that works. He cancels immediately. It took, a, there's like a, about two, three second lag time. But he eventually reacts and realizes, oh, a strong reaction from Raccoon Pizza. And then, he's gonna come right back down. He's taking a look. Oh, but he knows. He knows. Get the fuck out of here! But the drone can't make good. Oh, he hits the rock! He hits the cannon! He gets a little unfocused. I think he, that drone may need some glasses. It's just gonna move on with its life. I... So far, the cannon rush is coming together, but the, the beauty of creep is that you can't build on slime. This ain't co-op. You can't build on your opponent's creep. You have to just get close and do some sort of contain it, and Phoenix already macroing it out back at home. Whereas Raccoon Pizza, remarkably adaptable, goes straight to the corner. Oh, drones are pulled. A measured response from Raccoon Pizza. He's going to be going for one of the cannons. That's just enough to take it down. That second cannon is going to be a little dicey, but he, he might be able to get some DPS time on that as well. Six Zerglings on the way. He's going to continue. There's another pylon coming up. No cancel. The cannon being attacked. DPS down. The spine crawler about to finish. Here come the Zerglings. All over that cannon. Cannons with the low ground. They're getting distracted. The cannon finishes, but the spine crawler helping out a lot. Every single zergling dies, but the spine crawler, the real MVP. It's gonna be enough to take out these cannons. A bruising is coming, but once the spine crawler finishes off the cannon, it can move to the second one with no problem. Not the greatest location for a cannon there, and Raccoon Pizza has shut this down. Meanwhile. Back at home, a cybernetics core is in production. Full chrono boost whenever he feels like utilizing it. He has access to the tech. Now, the classic tactic, of course, would be void rays. The legacy of the voids is long and storied and uh, uh, a staple of Metal League history. But what is this? Inspired by the great cannon rushers of old has parting mostly has two robotics facilities on the other side of the map slapping down the shield batteries there's no creep he can't get to this pile and he still sees it on the high ground what's better than one robo he says two robos what does it mean though is he going to build immortals? Are we going to see some immortal warp prism micro two immortals in a prism name a more iconic combo Hot dog and a soda at Costco. But besides that, two immortals in a prism. This stream is brought to you by Costco, though they do not sponsor me. Costco, please. Two immortals on the way. The spine crawlers are... are Stretching out their legs, scuttling. That one should be in range, but they're taking their sweet, sweet time. There's going to be even more of them. Two immortals are enough to, to beat down approximately half a dozen spine crawlers and a dozen roaches with 
shield batteries behind them. Legend has it. They are truly immortal. Oh, one scuttling behind. Really struggling. Let me in! Come on! Mom said I get to play too! The immortal's working up. Micro's back. Suddenly realizing maybe they uh, want to have a team effort going on. Spine crawler being blasted to pieces. Oh, you can't actually dodge the spine. You just have to kind of get out of range. But more immortals. We're going to three. There's really not that much at home. There's a grand total of four zerglings. He's building spine crawlers. It seems like it's a little bit late on the draw, but Phoenix is taking his sweet, sweet time. And that might give Raccoon Pizza the opportunity. There's a secondary lair on the way. The Immortals. Stutter stepping against Zerglings, which is maybe a little overly cautious. The Spine Crawlers are nearing completion. Blasting through. Queen's eating some shots. Brenda and Karen doing their best. Another Spine gonna be blasted down. A Queen as well. Last Queen coming back. More Zerglings on the way. Immortals still stutter stepping against Queen's. Really, they're not that scary. They just take the, they curb stomp one spine crawler. These, these immortals being incredibly overly disgusting. Bro, bro. First statement of the match. Bro. Bro. And that's it, that's the end of the conversation. There's nothing left to be said. A Nidus Network is on the way. Raccoon Pizza looks like he wants to join the bottom left corner of the map. And in fact, he's still going to have more bases than his opponent. But his opponent will have five immortals. Nidus Worm detected. He's going for the throne! He's going for the main! The Spine Crawler slammed and jammed. The Roach Warren up next. The drones are just gonna go ahead and hop into the Nidus as well. Surprise! Out come the Zerglings. And suddenly, let's go to the Phoenix Cam. He doesn't seem, he's not watching. He's not watching. He's not watching. Oh, what's that? Here come the legs and drones out of nowhere. Will we recall in time? A recall could save the day. Down to one pro. Now, a spire, a spire could make the difference. There's literally just enough gas for a spire. If he makes another night, there is a, a backup layer in the bottom left corner. Wait, wait, wait. A nidus, I, I mean a nexus. Ah, oh, they're so close. In you, ah, a nexus is rebuilt at the we'll say third base of Raccoon Pizza. Phoenix taking some time. He he has less APM than a pocket watch, but. He's, he's thinking it through. He did block out the natural, unfortunately, with pylons. He ha he's mono-battling immortals. Seven immortals, one probe, and a dream. These immortals take a, a strong look at a hatchery, and that hatchery is liable to implode. So, is there enough to deal with this? 42 drought to just a single probe. Building spine crawlers in one of the most questionable possible locations, considering that... Nidus, Nidus's cannot have spines go through them, nor can he make another Nidus because he did lose the network, and it appears he is having indeed network connectivity issues. Oh, the the drones might give some of this away. Two immortals on the chase. The rest looking to avenge the main. If the spine, oh, the drones, drones, the citizens rise up against the immortals. But the drones are obliterated without much pause. Now seven immortals. Now, this is the most unnecessary battle that is about to occur. Phoenix is reclaiming his main, despite the fact that his main is no longer relevant in any way. One immortal does die. These spine crawlers are incredibly optimistic and immediately implode. Down goes the Nidus. The main is avenged. And meanwhile, Phoenix is macroing up. Five workers. Raccoon Pizza has been desperately putting together Zerglings. There are six Immortals and 33 Zerglings. 
it really is gonna depend on the angle the micro the panic all in equal parts but here come the zerglings barriers oh wait there go the zerglings here come the zerglings right on back the barriers holding for now the immortals don't do great DPS again, Zergling, but they have plenty of HP. Almost none of that HP is taken down. Between the barriers, the armor, the shields, a hatchery is being targeted. A queen, an innocent bystander, well, not so innocent. Another barrier is triggered. Another round of Zerglings. But the shields are beginning to recharge. The barriers will come off cooldown. Phoenix continues building up the zerglings on the chase they're doing they're doing the wrap around they're looking for it they find a couple half the immortals split off from the pack it looks like one's gonna go down a second one being surrounded and just on the edge of being killed but not quite enough he's down to five remember he still does have robotics facilities the Immortals continue their march. 24 kills, 23, 17, 25, 27. Triple digit kills across the board. He targets down one, he'll get it. Barriers triggered, four Immortals. He's whittling them down, with bit by bit, by bit, by bite, by bit. But the Immortals continue to stand their ground. Blasting through. Another spine, but the backbone isn't there. Right now, the unit's lost. 131 Zerglings, only three Immortals, aptly named. The drones being blasted through a hatchery is canceled. The Immortals are still on a rampage. Oh wait, the Broodlings could get in on the action. Beautiful micro back, great stutter step. Those little Dragoon legs that they strapped a big ass turret on, on the top of really paying off here. And the Immortals still going through. 37, 35, 37, 44 kills! And counting. Ten more Zerglings on the way. Another drone gets in the line of fire. It isn't there for long. Two more Immortals are being produced. Production will resume from Raccoon Pizza's former natural that he never really was able to take besides that one split second. More Broodlings. At least they trigger the barriers. Raccoon Pizza. To, to reiterate, bro. Bro. But there's still a last stand. There's some spines. There are some drones. There are a lot of targets here. The Immortals! Oh no, he's trying to micro! It's a disaster! The drones get us around! Finally avenging the, their former brothers! And the Immortals are slaughtered. But there's another round. There's still four immortals back at home. 24 workers to 18 probes. A Still a decent economy for Phoenix. He finds a base and just saunters down the ramp. Which is uh, quite convenient to say the very least. Oh. Oh. No. He, no. he, do, he really... Do, he's... he's that, that cautiousness. He, he built up confidence. Each immortal really has to go through puberty and a phase of low self-esteem. That's what we saw with those first immortals, with even though there was only like a queen and a handful of zerglings, they're not really confident in their immortal abilities. But as they build up that kill count, they level up, they rank up, they grow up, they start to get more and more confident. But unfortunately, that culminated in the overconfidence to try to actually micro, which ended in disaster for the first generation of immortals. The second generation has to go through this whole process again, and it's unclear. Who's going to come out on top? This is a little awkward. The drone. Predator drone strike. Gonna jam the probe into the corner? No! The probe fights back! But wait! Big Brother is here. Meet me behind the Nexus at 4 p.m. after school. Unfortunately, he brought his uh, he brought his friend the immortal. The immortal count back up to six. Good luck, have fun. Whoa, whoa, whoa! I don't even. I don't. I. I. I'm not even sure how to respond to that. What a. 
I, I can't. That is some next level chat. Bro into the 15 minute GLHF after losing 148 Zerglings. And we have traded bases to the other side. I have no idea. Like, is that offensive? I, I, is it defensive? Which usually GLHFs aren't. It's unclear. Now, it looks like Phoenix is trying to build. Um, he may not realize he lost his forge like a solid 14 minutes ago almost. A nexus will fall. The Zerglings surround it. They have plus one. And finally, he pulled out his Prima strategy guide and discovered the Spire, which he is inspired to build. Some of the Zerglings sacrifice so the rest might survive. A Spire, though. The, those immortals, while one day they may have been dragoons, look at their little legs there. They're just too heavy to tilt up. He's going for the probes. A lot of probes are actually going to die here. The Zergling's doing a very good job against them. Down to nine probes once again. A lot of workers killed. Oh, they're getting very distracted by the immortals, unfortunately. But down to ten probes, less than he started with. The spire is closing in. There's enough money for plenty of mutalisks. And they're not much of a muta risk. He's still at 33 workers. But if the immortals set their sights on another base killing maneuver, it really will depend on how much damage the immortals can get done. This is not, like, this is more of a metaphorical wall than an actual one over near the what we'll go ahead and call the natural but is oh well that's the most dead hatchery in the history of hatcheries in the long line what there's another drone what is this a campaign mission but here come he may have forgotten about his spire he just built zerglings and then five more mutas he's on the clock how many immortals is that we have eight immortals with high confidence after defending he's gonna shoot over the edge here what, a, what an opportunistic player. But he finds another base. So what will he do against the Mutas? Still a long way. The Zerglings aren't going to do anything against this. It's all about the Mutalist. But how much damage will be dealt? At what cost will he defend this once again? But the Zergling counterattack. What a play. Out of Raccoon Pizza. It looks like he might have the ability to take this all the way home. There's only going to be one more Nexus. The plus one melee attack helped him rip through all this, and next on the docket is going to be the... Well, there's one probe left. We've been here before. He's building cannons. He's building cannons! He's building cannons! We're back where we started! The Immortals break through! Time is of the essence, realizing that they won't get another opportunity. The Muta's trying to tickle them, giving them uh, just the scratching the paint with every attack, but eventually getting through into the health pool. But the Immortals, there's still one more base. Raccoon Pizza. Unfortunately, Phoenix not going to build any of himself. He's just going to tap it out. It was Immortals, Cannons, or Die Trying. Raccoon Pizza eventually techs up. He's inspired to build Spire. And he finally is able to find that end game counter. I hope you enjoyed this match. Thank you for watching. If, if this ends up on YouTube, like, I, I think it was pretty good. It was pretty fun. Like, the story of the Immortals and their, their hubris and also reaction time and also self-esteem issues. Hope you enjoyed. Like, subscribe, ring the bell. Like you're an immortal blasting through the buttons into YouTube HQ. Good luck, have fun, and thank you for watching. Bronze Leak.